Here's an AGM 12 volt battery. It's maintenance free. And I want to talk about cell dry out. See, normally you don't see you don't see these little rubber caps. There's a plastic cover that goes on top of here. But under that plastic cap, you have these little rubber caps. And I want to talk about what happens when a cell dries out and the reason for it. Okay, each one of these holes here is a cell. Same with this one here, this one here, and this one here. Well, what happens is that all batteries need to be equalized. Reason is to keep all the cells equal in charge. Now what happens when some of the cells, as of say this one cell or this one cell and maybe perhaps this one as well, go low in charge and these ones here are normal, good in charge. Well, What ends up happening is that you have to equalize the battery to bring these cells here up in charge. And being that these are maintenance free, there's no liquid inside there. It's a, basically a glass mat that's saturated with the sulfuric acid water mixture, distilled water mixture. Now what ends up happening during the equalization process is that your good cells have to do an, a lot of extra bubbling to even out the poor cells. So during that process that these cells are going to go a lot higher in volts and it's actually going to create some bubbling effect taking place as these cells are trying to get higher what ends up happening is that your good cells end up getting dried out so in the, in the process you're bringing up your low cells but now your good cells are going through some extreme chargings and they're actually drying themselves out so as you're bringing up three you're almost hurting the other three or one, you know, or two, you get the idea. You may only have one cell that's low in the battery. You really don't know because you really don't check them. Nobody ever checks them, they just equalize them and that's bringing them to a higher voltage and maintaining it for a bit. But during that process of the equalization, for however, however many cells that are low and the other ones are good, for, for bringing that low cell up, the other cells have to come high. And during that highness, they start bubbling and during that bubbling they start drying out to bring up that low cell. So you want to keep that in mind folks that equalization will create yourself a dry cell which will make another cell go bad because it's dry. As you're bringing up the one cell you're creating damage to another cell that was perfectly okay and the reason you're creating that damage is because that cell itself is now drying out. It's drying out due to the fact you're trying to bring up another one. So it's real important to basically pop these little caps off and these little rubber caps, pop, pop them off so it looks like it looks like this. And you can actually look down inside the hole. Not with this camera, I can't, can't get a good view down inside that hole. But you can physically look with your eye and you may need to add some liquids. You, you're going to want to check that. You're not going to see any liquids. But during the charging process, especially the equalization process, on the, on the good cells that, that are not dry in any way, during its equalization, you're going to see some moisture on top of the plates. You're going to see it, and that's going to tell you whether it's dry or not. If you don't see that moisture, that means you're getting a dried out cell. All your cells, as they're equalizing, should show a sign of some kind of moisture, some kind of dampness on top. Because that's what happens during equalization. It's, it's bringing everything upward. And you're going to see that on the top side. I can't show you in this hole. It's just too... No, it's just not going to work. So I hope through this explaining, it uh, indicates to somebody of actually what they're doing with their maintenance-free AGM battery. And the cares that you're going to want to... You're going to want to check on during that equalization charge if you want to maintain good battery life. Because it's a, it's a dead given. It happens all the time during an equalization time. Trying to bring up low cells, and the good cells end up drying themselves out, which you end up with further problems down the road.
So I would recommend when anyone's messing around or playing around or charging up an AGM battery, they're going to want to remove the little cap here and these little rubber caps and take a look down inside them holes so you can see what you got. See if there's any kind of moisture. And if there isn't any kind of moisture, then you're going to want to put some um, distilled water in there for sure. Well, thank you for watching, folks. And subscribe if you have not.